What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP, and today I want to do a quick demonstration. So I'm preparing a comparison video with a handful of my guitars, but before I do that, I need to restring all of them. Now, I'm pretty sure we've all been guilty of thinking, well, these strings haven't been on there for that long, or still sounds pretty good to my ear, or two years isn't that long, right? So I thought I'd take the opportunity to demonstrate old strings versus new strings. And these strings aren't super old either. My Legator strings have probably been on there for about four months and the comparison Dellinger Bass's strings are pretty new. But one of the most important factors of getting a really great recording and ultimately a great mix is having great source material. And hopefully I can demonstrate that it's always best to spend the extra time upfront getting great tone with fresh strings than it is trying to fix it later on in the mix when it's your last resort. So now I just gotta restring some guitars and record my example. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the new strings first. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to the old strings. Now it is very, very subtle, the difference, but you can hear that there's a general brightness and even a little bit more forward kind of mid-range in the guitars, especially on the newer strings. So let's go ahead and take a listen to these and flip back and forth a couple of times so we can kind of really hear the difference between the two. Let's start with this first section and just jump back and forth a couple of times. And of course, you can hear that the new strings are brighter, but the old strings have sort of a dullness to them, like a thumpy sort of quality that I'm really not liking. And you can really hear the difference on this run in particular. There's a really, really clear, distinct difference between the tone of the new strings and the old strings. So let's move on to the second section. Again, there's sort of a brightness and a presence to the mid-range that I really, really like in the newer strings. So to be clear, I did use the exact same settings between these tracks because I wanted to illustrate the difference of tone that the source material gives to these amplifiers. So what I'm gonna try and do now is make the old strings sound as good as the new strings. So the way I have this set up is panned left is the old strings, panned right is the new strings. And I wanna try and see if I can get the left and the right to match each other.
So I got those pretty close, but there's still something in the low end that I'm kind of missing on these old strings. And I don't know exactly what it is, but at the same time, this kind of proves my point that I really would rather just restring the guitars and get some great fresh sound at the beginning. Because at the end of the day, getting a great mix and great recording is an amalgamation of dozens, if not hundreds, of very small decisions you make along the way. When you decide to restring your instruments, it's just one of those choices. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that it was useful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on when we upload videos. Comment down below, let me know what you think of the video, and if you want to see more content like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.